Hello everyone. Welcome to Book Club Preview. I'm Michael and today we're looking at The Lost Hero chapter 55, Jason. Now in this chapter Jason is alone in his um, cabin, in Zeus's cabin all by himself and he's thinking about his dream that he just had and we don't even know what it was about but it was pretty bad and he doesn't really want to tell everyone how bad it was. He's also remembering many things from his past. He remembers when he first met Lupa. He remembers um, becoming like the leader in the camp. He remembers so many different things, even some friends. And there's this one named Reyna. He can't remember what happened with Reyna, who she is, but he feels something like maybe they were boyfriend and girlfriend. I don't know. But he feels a little guilty because he really, really likes Piper. And he's not sure what to do. Who's this Reyna? But here's Piper and I like Piper. I don't know. As he's thinking about all this stuff, he looks at his statue of his father, Zeus. And of course, the statue doesn't look very good. But... As Jason is looking at the statue and he starts talking to Zeus, he starts saying, I wish you could be here. I need some advice. Of course, Zeus doesn't say anything. And then Jason just starts talking. He says, hey, look, I understand, you know, you're the, you're the king of the gods and you have to set an example and everyone's trying to challenge you and question your decisions and and you have to lead a good example and you can't have like favorites and among the demigods and so Jason is talking and he says I dad I get it I understand but I really really need some help I need some guidance and then Jason feels something oh some tingling on the back of his neck he turns around and sees Juno now he asks, he's oh Hera it's you and she says, no, to you, I will always be Juno. And she kind of pulls back her hood. And then Jason, you know, asks like, oh, did Zeus send you here? And Juno says, I am the queen of the gods. No one sends me anywhere. I am not a messenger. And he's like, whoa, okay. But then Juno starts to say like, hey, your father did send you help. He sent you Leo and Piper trust your friends follow your friends they will help you and then she starts to talk about how um, Jason is the leader of um, that her whole plan is for Jason to become the leader of this camp of Camp Half-Blood and then someone else maybe from the Greek side is going to be the leader of the Roman camp and if they have leaders from the different gods, then that might help them come back together. Then Juno starts to share some really personal stuff. And she says, look, Jason, you know, you can trust me because I'm the goddess of family and I'm the goddess of marriage. And she starts saying this stuff like, you know, I, I don't have any demigod children. I didn't really like Hercules and there's other gods I didn't really like and I tried to hurt them she said, but because I'm a little jealous like I don't have any demigod children I have two children on my own own Hepatus and Ares I think I can't quite remember and she said and, and they're disappointments I don't have anyone to champ to be my champion and she said that's why the original Jason I favored him I helped the original Jason because he was just human he didn't have any other parent that's a god and so she says you know Jason I'm so glad that your father gave you to me because you will be the greatest champion and you will be my champion you will be my hero and um whoa man that's you know, Hera is not very nice. And she doesn't really share her heart or mind very much. So this is pretty cool, especially being Juno, which Juno is like the fighter Hera, right? 
And so, you know, sharing all this stuff is pretty powerful. And then she says, you're going to be the greatest hero because you're going to lead both the Roman, um, the Roman half gods and the Greek demigods. And you're going to bring them together. Wow. Pretty cool. Oh, and that's how the chapter ends. Well, oh, well, and then I guess uh, Piper comes in and Piper says, hey, um, come on, let's go have the meeting. Um, Praetor. A Praetor is like a commander of an army. So um, Jason kind of remembers when in the Roman demigod camp that they put him on a shield and they were like, cheering him on his shield saying yeah you're the leader of the camp you're the leader of the camp and for them they called it the praetor and the last one there's only two vocabulary words here is gladius now you might already know that a gladius is a sword and they describe it in the story a little bit um in the sheath but this is what a gladius looks like it's a roman short sword and it works really well with a shield and it's one of the reasons why the uh, Romans were were so strong in their army is partly because of this sword. And I just wanted to show you a picture. That's what it looks like. And Hera gives him, her, she had a Gladys by her side, and she gives it to Jason at the end of the chapter, which is super cool. I don't know if it's made of um, like that god gold stuff or if it's special or anything, but Hera gives it to him, and I imagine it's going to be special. Discussion question I have for you is why doesn't Zeus talk with Jason? Okay, I, I can kind of understand what, what Jason was saying when he's talking to Zeus, but, but as a father, right, and as a son, man, I, I, I don't know. It's hard for me to understand, you know, why Zeus isn't talking with Jason so much. But, I mean, Jason gets to talk with Hera. But he really wants to talk with Zeus too. Do you can you understand that? Do you have any good reason why you think Zeus doesn't talk to Jason? Or is is we just can't understand Zeus and he's crazy? Well, please make your own discussion question. Write it in the comments so that way other students can look at it and prepare their answer. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this episode of Book Club Preview. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Hey, if you have any questions about the video today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you had any other vocabulary words that you wanted to know what they meant, uh, let me know. And also, if you're interested in maybe joining one of these book clubs, um, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.